Hey, what is going on guys? It is Colin from CSP Tech here and Google I.O. just started on Tuesday. Uh, There's a bunch of new announcements and a lot of the big things that they talked about revolved around AI and Android P, at least in the first day. So I loaded it onto my essential phone because now it actually supports phones that are not pixels. And as you guys know, I have an essential phone uh, review coming soon and I decided to give it a shot <clears throat> to see what I thought. So. These are my first initial impressions of a couple things they mentioned at Google I.O. and my top five favorite features of Android P on the Essential Phone, or just Android P in general. Let's get to it. So you may or may not know, but Google has been working with AI just, just a little bit lately, and they've been putting a little bit of resources into it in development. Uh, that's a joke, by the way. They're doing everything with AI. Uh, and it's really impressive. It's working. So we'll see that a lot in uh, Android P and a lot of the new Google stuff. So. For example, AI in Gmail, which has done a little bit of the smart replies already, like in Inbox and stuff like that. But this is taking it another step further with uh, a lot of actual like smart reply sentences, which is really cool. Uh, so we'll kind of figure out what you're typing. Smart replying in Android itself. So let's say specifically in Android P, uh, it'll learn your your gestures and stuff like that. It'll learn what you what apps you go for more often, and we'll try to as you swipe up from the app drawer, show those to you. Really cool stuff like that. Another thing they showed, which was really cool, was the restoring the color to old photos. Uh, in Google Photos, that's really neat. Just a bunch of AI stuff, figuring out kind of different uh, colors to use and enhance current images, new images, or restore color to old ones, which is awesome. In terms of the Google Assistant specifically, you have a bunch of new voices now, and one of them is John Legend, which is interesting, but that's kind of cool. Uh, and then continued conversations is what they're calling it. So basically, you instead of just saying, hey, assistant uh, every single time you want to ask it a question you can just continue conversation so it'll reply once and then you can say something else and then ask it another question without having to continuously say hey in between every conversation so one of the things that I actually think personally totally flew under the radar and I've only seen a few people mention this uh, is project Waymo is actually going to be uh, so Google Project Waymo, if you guys aren't familiar, is their self-driving car project, which they've been doing for a long time now, uh, is actually getting a public release. So you're actually going to be able to go into an app and hail a Waymo taxi in Arizona starting in 2018. It's crazy. So you're going to call a car, it's going to come pick you up, and you're going to get in, and there's going to be nobody driving it, and it's going to be crazy. So uh, it's a first step for them to go public with it. Uh, I know they've been driving for years and years and years now, and they've barely had any accidents, uh, and most of them, actually all of them, are not due to the car itself. It's really cool, really promising. Uh, Uber took a slightly different approach to that, but that's basically a whole nother video. Google Maps is really cool. So obviously Google Maps is getting a ton of AI features. So as you walk around, you'll point your camera around, it'll show you, recognize different buildings uh, and give you different uh, prompts on what's in that building and that sort of thing. It's just really cool stuff. Kind of as you're walking down the street, if you're looking, it'll show you the street pictures down in street view as you walk with arrows and stuff. It'll be really cool. And the last thing that was absolutely crazy with Google I.O. 2018 was Google Duplex. Now, you guys, everybody's mind got blown on this. It's super creepy. It's super awesome. I am not going to touch on it too much on this video. I just wanted to show it to you guys. But basically, this is Google's AI in whatever voice you set having a conversation over phone, over an actual phone call because you asked it to. It's crazy. Listen to this. Hi, I'm calling to book a women's haircut for a client. Um, I'm looking for something on May 3rd. Sure, give me one second. Mm-hmm. Sure, what time are you looking for around? At 12 p.m. We do not have a 12 p.m. available. The closest we have to that is a 1.15. Do you have anything between 10 a.m. and uh, 12 p.m.? Depending on what service she would like, what service is she looking for? Just a woman's haircut for now. Okay, we have a 10 o'clock. 10 a.m. is fine. Okay, what's her first name? The first name is Lisa. Okay, perfect. So I will see Lisa at 10 o'clock on May 3rd. Okay, great. Thanks. Great. Have a great day. Bye. Yeah, that was Google Assistant talking to a hair salon, which you said, hey, assistant, call, get me an appointment for Monday. And it went ahead and did that. It answers conversations. It understands different dialects. It understands different accents. It's crazy. This other uh, example with a restaurant with a little bit harder questions, for example, blew my mind. See how may I hear you? Hi, um, I'd like to reserve a table for Wednesday the 7th. For 
seven people? Um, it's for four people. Four people when? Um, today, next Wednesday at 6 p.m. Oh, actually, we leave here for like after like five people. For few, four people, you can come. How long is the wait usually to uh, be seated? For when tomorrow or weekday or? For next Wednesday, uh, the seventh. Oh no, it's not too busy. You you, you can come for four people, okay? Oh, I got gotcha. you. Thanks. Bye bye. So that is that is just insane. So I'm really excited for this. It's bordering on the line of super creepy and super awesome. Uh, but I think this could be really, really cool if I'm on my way. I don't know, I'm getting into a subway or something and I know I don't have service or I'm super busy. I'm going into like an hour long meeting, uh, you know, just back to back days. And I know I need a haircut or something. I could just tell my assistant to get a haircut for me uh, and I don't have to worry about it. It will call, figure it out schedule it, put it in my calendar, and let me know once it's in there. It's just, it's absolutely mind-blowing. And of course, the big announcement uh, was Android P, which the name, they haven't told us yet. So where everybody's kind of on the idea of peppermint, um, that seems to be the way it's going. I think it's gonna be something random, but I don't actually know what other things are. Start with P. So I just looked it up, fun fact, I just looked it up because I was curious. Uh, there's a lot of people saying pancake, could be pancake, uh, panna cotta, parfait, uh, pecan pie, pumpkin pie. Usually it's one word, so I'm gonna go with peppermint, pancake, or parfait. Uh, that could be really cool. That would be that would be really interesting. There's like a whole. If you look up desserts to start with P, it's just Android predictions. Funny story. Okay, that's enough rambling. So what is Android P like? I talked about it in the video uh, at the beginning of this video. I have a essential phone and I loaded. Uh, I loaded Android P onto here, the developer preview, and I have my initial impressions. So I was really excited to hear that they are expanding from just Pixel devices to a bunch of different things. The OnePlus 6 is included on that, even though it's not out yet, which is awesome. So what are my top five favorite features of Android P? Let's go. All right, so I've scooched over now and I should have full space for this to pop up. Poof, there it is. Awesome, so this is my screen right now. As you guys can see, I'm kind of messing around here. Uh, don't worry about Venom, uh, surprise, by the way, if you guys are excited for the Venom movie, shout out to Justin Maller. Uh, this is a really wicked wallpaper. Um, but a few things I've noticed uh, in Android P, I think they're really, really cool, but I also think that there's a couple things that could uh, be improved, which obviously it's a developer preview. This has literally been out for like a day to the available public. I think it's really cool. So first thing that is crazy is the gestures. So if you guys look down at the bottom of my home screen here, you can actually see that there's just a dash at the bottom there. That's all it is. If I tap on it, it's just a dash. Um, but this works in a couple different ways. For example, if I open up my calendar, uh, my calculator here, I, if I want to go back to the home screen, I tap it just like it normally does. If I go back to it, you'll see the little back button. I can do that here. Now, the interesting thing is when I swipe up on the home screen, I actually get my multitasking. So I can go through my multitasking here uh, and then I can just kind of click away. Very iOS 11 uh, reminiscent, which is interesting. So the other thing I can do is really interesting is actually swipe on that bar itself. So if I want to go between my apps, I can actually put my thumb on the little bar here and just drag it to the right and it'll go through my app. So I can just hold it, it keeps going. And then if I want to go faster, I can switch back and forth and it's super cool. This is something that I actually personally don't like that much yet. It's not that responsive and I will like it more when it does become more responsive. But as of right now, it's still a little slow. It could be tweaked. So the next thing up on the list is actually simplicity of use. So what that means is Google is trying to tackle the way you use your phone and the way and how easy it is to use your phone. So it's trying to learn your predictive patterns a little bit more. Screen brightness is going to adjust for you on the fly sort of thing based on how you usually set it, um, that sort of thing. Battery life is gonna be improved based on the apps that you use. It's gonna allocate more for those and less for other. It's just really cool. So I think Google already has pretty good battery life. Um, <laughs> Google Assistant went off. Um, I think they already have pretty good battery life and any help with AI that could further that is gonna make for uh, those Google phones in the future uh, very, very powerful. Another thing that's really interesting is what Google has called digital well-being. Uh, they're trying to tackle the amount that people use their phones, the way they use their phones. They're trying to get them off your phones and incent incentively using your phone less and focusing more on the important things, which is really, really cool. 
How they're doing this is they're letting you set timers for yourself either on your phone or per app. This isn't actually, I can't find it in Android P yet. It may be coming soon. Uh, but basically what's gonna happen is your phone, your icon, if an app has used it too much, it will go gray and lose its color. It's really interesting just to know that you've expired your time on that app. So let's say you're always on Instagram and you're not getting things done, or you're always watching YouTube videos, and you're not getting things done. After a little while of you using it, after your timer is up, your screen will just go completely gray and you go, oh crap, I set it to an hour I've been using, watching YouTube for an hour sort of thing. Let's get back to work. Really neat idea and it allows people to get off their phones and focus on the things that they're doing. So I think that's really, really cool. So I think I'm, I've been jumping around a lot, but I think this is number four uh, of my top five things. So this is going to be the app drawer. So obviously on any Android phone, at least with like somewhat of a pixel launcher, you swipe up, you get to your app drawer, you've got a bunch of different things in here. Uh, and the one thing that I think is gonna be really cool, it's not on the essential phone, unfortunately. I don't know if the ones that I've seen, the reviews that I've seen talking about Android P had if it's a Pixel exclusive thing, it might be, uh, and there might be less features on other phones, but at least for now, I can't find it. This is day two that it's been out, so that's fair. Um, but the integration of work and personal apps, so I think this is really cool. So you'll actually have two tabs up top, one that'll say personal, one that says work if you set it up that way, uh, and that'll allow you to only see your work apps when you wanna see them, uh, and then only see your personal apps. So if they are completely separate or if you use them for different reasons, uh, then you'll actually be able to see that. That's really handy for me because I use my phone for work all the time, uh, and I'm constantly switching between accounts and switching between apps and stuff like that. So for example, on my Gmail, I have like seven emails on here. It's a whole thing. So uh, that'll really help me out personally. And I think it's a great feature. So whoever uses their phone for work can benefit from that. And I know I've been jumping around a bunch, but last but not least, it's the other stuff. It's the small design changes, which I like and don't like, um, but we'll go over that. So my number five is gonna be a couple things that I like and then a couple things that I don't like. So first things first um, is kind of the general overall theme. One of the things I really like, and if you guys look here, if I hit the volume up button, it just goes on the side of the screen. So it follows literally up and down. And if I wanna switch between modes, I just tap uh, this button right up here uh, and it'll allow me to go between different modes, which is awesome. Uh, and then if I wanna get into my settings, then I just hit the settings icon and I can adjust um, my modes, you know, my all my alarms and everything individually. So that's really cool. Next is some of the stuff I don't like. As you guys may have seen there, uh, I don't know what it is about this Android developer, but if I swipe down, the notifications uh, are slightly different. They're slightly easier to um, use, but it's like a weird salmon pink, and I can't seem to change this. Now, I know this is a developer preview, and it's only day two, but I would just like to be able to change the color. I don't know if it's like an adaptive color thing to a background that I set, because I did have a different background that had some red in it, but I switched it, I've restarted my phone, I've done everything, it's still weird salmon pink. So don't look too much at that, but the actual notifications themselves um, are nice, but I actually don't like the, I don't like the fit and feel of it as much as the old phone. It's totally fine, it says phone on vibrate up top, it's still got your brightness slider here. Um, and then you've got all your quick toggles, your mobile data on and off, auto rotate on and off, flashlight, that sort of thing. And then if you hold it, obviously it still goes back to your um, your Wi-Fi stuff. But just as of right now, I just don't like the simplistic look and feel of it. Uh, I do like the little bit more complicated um, Android 8.1 ones. I think the dark and light themes of the actual phone, which kind of transport over, I like that. I think the salmon is a little weird. Another thing you guys will notice if I swipe up here is the time is actually in the top left of your phone now. So it's really weird. It kind of took me a little bit to get used to it. I was like, oh my God, my clock is gone. Uh, but it's actually on the top left of your phone. So that's something that you're gonna have to get used to. Uh, I know a lot of phones just don't use that space. So I think they're trying to, uh, you know, even out the spacing a little bit, especially because the essential phone has a notch in it. Um, it looks really good to have stuff on both sides. So that is my whole kind of rundown video, Google IO, Android P on an essential phone, what it looks like, what it is, everything I know so far. Uh, again, I couldn't go to Google IO, but I'm kind of reading on a bunch of stuff and learning a bunch of stuff. It's really, really cool. Hopefully this video isn't too long. I've been shooting for about 32 minutes now. Uh, again, things change, but I want to uh, just give you guys all the information that I know right now. I think that's pertinent and we'll do at least a once over video. I waited a couple days for it to come out because obviously I couldn't go. 
Um, but uh, now that it's been a few days and Google I.O. is almost over, uh, I think all the major announcements happened right at the beginning. Other stuff that's gonna come, like material design to Gmail is out now, which is awesome. Uh, they're gonna redo Google Drive as well next, which is awesome, that'll be coming very shortly. Uh, if you guys wanna use the new Gmail, by the way, uh, go into your Gmail client. If you're not on G Suite, uh, G Suite have to enable it in the settings, um, but you just hit the cog on the right and you hit try into the new Gmail. I really like it, it's really nice. Um, it's uh, it's it's pretty. It's just like a nice material design, and it brings some features from Inbox and stuff like that, which is really awesome. So that's pretty much it. I'm gonna leave you guys to. I'm gonna leave uh, let you guys go because it's been too long already. Um, Essential phone review coming very soon. Uh, I've had a little bit of delays in it, and which is why I couldn't make it. Um, this is my third Essential phone in about a month. I will explain that in the review. There are some issues with this phone, uh, which I've noticed, um, but now that I've got this, I've got a screen protector and I've slapped this big rubber case on it, I feel much more confident that it's not gonna break on me. So review coming soon, I will get to that now that I'm going back to Android 8.1, because as much as I like Android P um, and I am getting used to it, I think I really like Android 8.1 and how stable it is, at least as of right now. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna let you guys go. It's been too long already. We will see, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you like it. Uh, and I will see you guys later. I think that's it. Yeah. All right. Cheers, guys.